It's Wow Wow West. And we're back with another game. It's been a long time since I played a game with y'all. And one of my friends, subscribers, fellow Fortnite players told me, you know, I haven't uploaded a lot of videos in a long time and I need to put up a video. And I'm like, you know, you're right. And I said, what would you like to see? And he said, Roblox. I haven't put up a Roblox video. My son loves Roblox. I haven't played it too much, honestly, but let's get into this. And I played some last night, but and it's kind of like Fortnite Creative as far as you can play a bunch of different kinds of games. But I'm going to do the Roblox where I can create something because I noticed you guys like that where I create some, a game in Fortnite. So I'm going to create a game here in Roblox. And let's see what happens. I've never done this before, so I don't know what I'm doing. But my friend... DQS21, his name is different inside of Roblox, and you can add him if you'd like to. But he's the one who asked me to do this video, so he's going to be joining us in the map. Alrighty. I mean, already off the top, this is a beautiful little house. You know, it doesn't look like Roblox at all to me, mainly because of the character that my son has equipped. But it looks nice. Okay, let's look here. Welcome. You are playing your very first Roblox creation. Look around and try to find all seven hidden items. Edit this game or create more with Roblox Studio. Alright. Oh, I got a message. Oh, there we go. My friend just joined. Here he is. Let's talk to him. Let's tell him, uh, tell him what's up. Can we talk to him? That was weird. That was weird, guys. I don't know what happened there. That was really weird. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well, okay, this is cool. This looks like a bunch of prefabs that I can use to work with. Definitely different than Fortnite Creative, but I like it, and it's different than Minecraft. You know, all three of these games are cool and if you're like a creator you like to create things they're all different in their own way like roblox to me is like the pre the starter and then you move to like minecraft then you move to fortnite and then if you're moving out of that you move to like something like warzone or apex legends but remember those don't have any kind of creative type of thing yet so the three that i kind of like our Roblox, Minecraft, and Fortnite. Look at this guy up here just running around. All right, try using the scale tool in Studio to stretch parts to the size you need. All righty. Well, where do we go to check out our tools and stuff? Try using the erode tool in Studio to carve out paths. Oh, snap. So that's something that's not in Fortnite yet. They do not have a terrain editor in Fortnite. So if you want to see something cooler in Roblox, terrain editor right there, guys. It literally just said it. Don't know how to use it yet. Oh, these are primitive shapes. That's cool. That's a big thing in Fortnite that people use. This looks like some different landscapes that are pretty cool. We got planks. We got grass. Glass. That took a long time to come to Fortnite. Sand. So Roblox is pretty advanced so far. We got, like, looks like a steel brick, 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 brick. Nice. Okay. And we got an example of something you could work with right here. Um, is this no another, uh, talking about terrain editor? Water is also another thing that's not in Fortnite. Try using a grow tool to steer to create hills and mountains. See more terrain editor. Awesome, guys. This is cool stuff right here. I can swim. Nice. All right. That's cool. Try using the paint tool in studio to add terrain materials with precision. See, these are all, you know, this sets it apart from the other games. It may be, you know, the graphics are kind of a little more primitive, but sometimes that's cool to have. You know, think about, for example, Minecraft. Minecraft is just straight blocks, kind of like this tree right here, and it's amazing. You know, at first I thought it was kind of kiddish, but it's honestly awesome. 
when you start playing it and get to build your own stuff. You build your own hut. You build stuff. That's awesome. Now, I still don't really know what I'm doing here. Like, okay, I click this. Nothing. Inventory. So guys, I'm thinking possibly, I don't know, I have to be on a different app or something to to be editing because I don't see the tools that I need to edit. Oh, here's my buddy. We'll talk to him for a little bit just to, you know, spice this video up. Hi, bud. EQ, yes. to play something else yeah see he can't figure out the tool editor either so we'll roll into a different roblox video but for my first roblox video just kind of give you guys a little tutorial about roblox creative I, I wanted to check this out personally myself and um as a review we're gonna call this a review you know kind of like a little tutorial slash review and for a review, I like it. I gotta say, I honestly am a bit of a fan of Roblox because it's taking the best of both worlds. Look at this grass. It looks pretty good. <coughs> he's asking, what are we going to do? Um, he's going to have to do this. So, the grass, look at it. Looks pretty good, man. And it's like a mix of both worlds. We got straight up shapes nice easy stuff like minecraft right here like this tree or some of this house right here you know what i'm saying but then we also have some really nice looking stuff look at this grass look at this marbling on this marble right there those walls are textured so well you, you know we got to give people a little bit of credit where credit's due and it's a mix of half and half like look that brick ceiling with those timber beams even that glass window i just looked at looks great it's a it's really like a mix of both things and from back here some of this terrain looks great like right there those hills look really good you know maybe the mountain needs a little bit of work but i think that's the thing about roblox it's a mix of both you know just doing just kind of gives you again like I said a little overview of what's up because with Fortnite creative they have so much going on they have a lot going on and people love creative in Fortnite because they can build but right here we can see that some of what is here they're already ahead of the game in some ways of building aspects this right here you can't do this in Fortnite yet. You can, but you can't personally edit certain parts of a build. Like this bridge, you can edit each little part of that. That is amazing. You cannot do that in Fortnite. Primitive shapes. Like I said, this is a big thing of Fortnite. They already have this. People use this in a lot of their builds, which is very popular. Where did you get a lamp like that? <laughs> They're texturing. You know, the blockage is primitive. That's the Minecraft thing. But look at some of these textures, man. That brick right there. This marble. That granite. You know, that, some of that is looking amazing. And then again, like we said, they do not have currency. And this is something people have been begging for in Fortnite. They don't have terrain editor, guys. You guys want to make cool cool games of your own and that's what i've been working on recently i love playing games but i like creating some of my own games too 
this is what I'm going to recommend for you guys. Roblox, Minecraft, Fortnite. You can c create your own games, guys. And it might not be perfect to how you imagined it, but look at this right now. Look, this has a terrain editor, and I'll show you there's examples on the side. It has different terrain. You can switch the terrain even. You see that up there in the top corner? Like, I don't know if I have to be on PC to give you a better in-depth view, guys, and I'm sorry if I do. But look. Different terrain examples right there in the top left corner. You can literally edit the mountains. We're going to come over here and check this out. You know? The water. Same thing. I can either have it water or I can make this a whole sand pit or something. And I can literally maybe erase some of it or add it, make it bigger. You know? And look at this water. It's not bad. You know, like, and I'm literally butterfly stroke it. Look, look what just happened. Game physics, literally. Watch this. I just walked up to it. Over this thing right here. Another thing that's going on here right now, but I don't know if you can see it. I just clambered over this. That's cool about Roblox, they will censor everything, which is cool. So there's no toxicity in this game at all. There can't be. Anything that they think is even close to toxicity, it's edited. But I didn't say anything bad. Yeah, it was like that. I just said his gamer tag, and I think they don't want you saying stuff like that. But there's an overview, guys. There's not many signs that I, that I see that I can show you guys, but. I'm going to make a map myself in this. I'm going to work the next couple months and try to actually make a map for you guys. And that will be my next video. Well, not the next video because I'll probably post stuff in the meantime. But that will be a video that I upload for you guys. I'm going to make a, a map, a game in Roblox Creative. I'm also going to do something in Minecraft so I can have all the different creative games uploaded on my channel. Check out 904 Wild Wild West on YouTube. You already know what it is. It's your dog. Support me on Fortnite if you want to. Wild Wild West dash OG. Or you can find me on Roblox now. Wild Wild West OG. You know what it is. Peace out, y'all. Thank you again to DQES21 or CareMark56 for asking me to do this video.